Welcome to VNUIS. This is our second TV edition in English, and I am Linda. In the past two months, when COVID-19 has been everywhere, in every corner, affecting every aspect of our society, but here at VNUIS, our routines remain the same. Has our school remained untouched by the crisis of COVID-19? Online teaching and learning in VNUIS is well organized and there are few differences in comparison with the offline ones. VNUIS has cooperated with its partner university, Nang's University, France, to run online courses to meet the strict schedule of the postgraduate training program. Assessment is strictly organized. Students were assigned mini tests, essays, short assignments. Online assessment methods include synchronous multiple choice tasks or home assignments, for example. Especially, students of the foundation program recently finished an online final exam. In an effort to support students in doing their research, VNUIS held a training session about SPSS software via Microsoft Teams. We also held online meetings with group of students to listen to their questions and know their challenges in doing research so as to give them timely and meaningful support. In accordance with the government's degree 16 on social distancing, VNUIS has applied online working mode for our staff so that they can work at home and complete their jobs, exchange information and cooperate in a safe, efficient and timed manner. VNUIS has recruited an additional lecturer for the Business Data Analytics program, which is a very hard program. Candidates were interviewed by VNUIS recruitment panel and performed demonstration teaching session via Microsoft Office 365. We are also seeking for a student consultant whose function will be to give student advice on psychology, learning methods and employment. In the past two months, VNUIS has continuously updated its website and fanpage with news and developments about online teaching and learning of both the teachers and students, the scientific research of students and the working of the staff. There are many initiatives formed during this period, such as homemade music videos, particularly the music video Heal the World was a special joint product of VNU IS and its partner universities. The music video had the participation of up to 80 people from different countries like the United States, India, Korea, Nigeria, Australia, Russia and Vietnam. To provide students with the best learning environment, VNUIS has applied a series of supportive policies. VNUIS has given its students data packages of 60 gigabytes per month for three months, webcams and wireless headphones. In addition, we have shipped books and materials to student home to improve their online learning experience. Throughout April, VNUIS has been running enrollment and employment consultant programs on its fan page. Besides, VNUIS has upgraded its virtual tour in order to provide our potential students with more realistic and vivid experiences of the learning environment at VNUIS. The website with the multiple choice test, Who Are You, has also been updated to help high school students to understand their aptitude and career choices. Under new circumstances, the VNUIS Labor Union and Youth Union have quickly and flexibly adapted their activities with new and diversified ones to fit the current reality created by COVID-19. Online physical fitness activities for better health have been organized for the entire VNUIS community, successfully attracting many teachers, students and staff to participate in.
After more than two months of online teaching and learning, it was time for VNUIS to organize the end of level examination in Take 3 of the General English Program. The lecturers of the Academic Foundation Department at VNUIS have made a brave and pioneering decision to conduct the online examination. This has truly been a historic move at VNUIS. So today, we invited here a very special guest. May I introduce to you Dr. Nguyễn Việt Hùng, Acting Head of the Academic Foundation Department, VNUIS. Thank you for accepting our invitation and joining us today. So first of all, we have a question for you. What is the reason why your department decided to take this exam online? Oh, well, the reason why we took the online exam for our students is that we had a uh, level that's in Tech 3, as you know that it's level last 160 uh, hours of learning. And after it's level, we need exam so that we can decide which student can upgrade to the next level and how many students can do the video classes. And uh, at this time, at the end of March, as you know, we are uh, follow the social distancing from all of government and we have no choice, other choices other than uh, online examination. How did your department prepare for the exam? Was it the same as you had planned before? Uh, in order to uh, carry out this examination, we need to cooperate closely with the uh, Office of Academic Affairs and the Center for Testing and uh, Quality Assurance. We uh, carry out through five steps. Uh, first step, what's well, step one? Designing the test plan. Uh, we, we need to assure the quality uh, of the test plan in, according to international standards. Uh, we have at least two good tests for each level. Um, we need to uh, repair all the things of the test uh, related to the platform so that we can match it with the platform. The platform we use here is Office 365 and we run it very differently, swiftly uh, in learning uh, online training. And now, with the uh, examination, we need to prepare all things to uh, support it and run it. The second step is the, our department cooperate with the Office of Academic Affairs to design their documentary for online examination. We uh, need to design uh, step by step so that uh, all the proctors our teachers and students know how to do it in the real exam. Uh, the reason why we take this job is that uh, our department or lectures here uh, use Office 365 to uh, teach students. So we know for sure all the steps and how to do with technical problems issues. In the first step, our department cooperated with the Office of Academic Affairs and Center for Testing and Quality Assurance to carry out all the demo test so that it can familiarize all the teachers, students, practice to the real procedure of online examination. We need to assure that all the teachers and students uh, know how to do it very, very carefully, step by step, so we can carry out the official examination after this. Uh, that's, that was the reason why we uh, took two demo tests before the exam. Step 4, the official examination. Our department cooperated with the, the Center for Testing and Quality Assurance to carry out this exam online. And um, we have to inspect all of the procedures and uh, inspect all of the uh, activities of uh, proctors, teachers, and students in the exam. This is the last step in uh, this online examination. Uh, after the official exam, we need to score the test. We cooperated with the Center for Quality Assurance and Testing to score student tests. The results show that uh, the um, level of reliability for the test is uh, quite high. And uh, one of the evidences is that the number of students uh, have to take the video exam is uh, equivalent to the uh, offline exam. Uh, what are some recommendations and advice would you offer to other schools who want to organize the online examination? Any tips for successful online examination preparation? We need to wrap out all the necessary steps so that uh, teachers and students can understand and follow. Uh, all the steps must be very clear. And uh, furthermore, I think that we need to have the monitoring mechanism for uh, inspect, uh, inspectation uh, because uh, 
uh, as you know that students stay in different places, we cannot see them, so we need to have um, the way to control uh, to assure that all the tests must be very uh, equal, fair to students. Um, one of the measures we apply in this is that uh, we run the uh, OBS software, that is a, a software for controlling the laptop screen. And we uh, apply it right for both teachers and uh, students, both part of students. And after the examination, the inspectors can check it, check all the video of the laptop screen. And if yeah, they find any, any violation to the regulation that the exam, the teachers and practice our students can be fined. And uh, lastly, I think we need to have very close cooperation between uh, related divisions like uh, departments, uh, Center for Testing and Quality Assurance, and their Office for Academic Affairs. Thank you for sharing with us a lot of useful information today. I wish you and your department continue to succeed in your teaching work. Thank you. This is the end of our second edition of VNUIS TV. On behalf of VNUIS community, I wish you and your family good health, happiness, and I believe that together we will soon overcome any difficulties created by the COVID-19. Should you have any recommendation, please send us an email at truyenthong at isvnu.vn. Thank you and see you again.